Jason here. So today's the day that we finally get to start stripping out the deck of the Shearwater 17. It's a stage that I've really been looking forward to. Now, before we get going, I'm going to mark out a center line down the center of the deck, just on the top of the station forms. Okay, now that, that mark is going to help me as a reference later on to create a pattern. But even if you're not going to create a pattern, I highly recommend that you do that center line because it'll be a gauge to show you that your strips are nice and straight, okay? Now, in the previous video, we also did quite a bit of prep work just to get everything ready. We got the forms in place, we got the you know masking tape along the top of the station forms, and this four inch strip of plastic along the shear clamp. Okay, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so to get the center line, what I'm doing is I've just nailed in a finishing nail up at the very end of the, the bow here, and I'm going to run a string down to where the cockpit is, alright? And we've got a station form that has the stringer attached to it, which marks the center of the cockpit. So if I go off of this point and the center of the cockpit, then I'll have a nice straight line and I can mark it along the top of the station form, okay? And then I'll do the same for the back of the boat. So the first strips that we're going to do on the deck are going to follow the rail of the kayak along the shear clamps. So what we're going to do in this case is we're going to lay up two strips on each side of the shear clamp. Okay, so if you have another design in mind, you could start off in the center, which is another reason to mark off your center line. Okay, so I've added the first strip on each side of the kayak along the shear clamp. Now I'm using one inch uh, brad nails or finishing nails uh, just to tack the strip in place and I'm just going in between every other station form. Now if you don't have finishing nails you could use staples, that'll do as well. I'm choosing to use the finishing nail just because for this I want to have a cleaner look and the the staples will have two holes, whereas the finishing nail will just have the one. All right, now of course we can use full length strips, but most likely for most of us builders, we're gonna be joining strips together. Now we can use scarf joints, which is a eight to one ratio angle cut. So whatever the width of the material you're using, you make that eight times to get the angle that you need and then you join that up. I'm just going to use a 45 degree miter in my joints. Now I've used miter joints in my boats for a long time and you know I, I find them good. Uh, in fact we can even use butt joints and butt joints are just end-to-end -end joints and they'll work fine as well. Now the issue with the butt joint is that later on especially in canoes you can get almost like seams where you can see you know, sunlight through the joint when you're carrying your canoe. Not a big deal. Um, the other issue is that if there's any opening, you might not get epoxy to penetrate through into the core. So I find miter joints good because it gives more glue surface than a butt joint and it also seals up that gap. Okay, so like I said, I'll be using miter joints to do my, my joints here. Okay, so another thing is, 
I'm making sure that I have some overhang with that first drip. Later on, we're gonna plane that down. So we wanna make sure that we have a fair amount. I'm making it so that it's the cove down, so I have the bead on the inside of the deck. All right, the reason for that is later I'm gonna be adding glue to the cove of the next strip and then inserting it. If I had the, the cove down and facing in, then I'd have to somehow get the glue into that cove every time. Okay, I prefer to lay out my strips by adding the glue in my hand into the cove and then just attaching that strip, so that's the way I'm going. So for me, my cove is facing outwards and it's overhanging the edge of the kayak. So, like I said, later on we're gonna plane that down and we're gonna take off the excess. And we wanna make sure that we have enough excess that we don't have any cove, okay? So it's up to you how you wanna do it. Truthfully, you know, the bead up or cove up debate has been going on for a long time. It's probably one of the most debated things from strip builders, kind of like, should a canoe have a keel? So anyway, it's a matter of preference and uh, yeah, so for me, you'll see I'll be adding the glue to the cove and I will have all of my beads facing towards the center line of my kayak deck. I think one of the most important parts of any boat build is to take your time and not rush. This is especially true when setting up the first few strips. Do your best to establish nice, clean, symmetrical lines now, and you can save yourself a lot of frustration later on. When you begin to lay up and glue together your rows of strips, you don't need to go overboard with the glue. A thin bead of glue is all it takes to hold the strips together. Remember, any glue that seeps or presses out of the strips, you're going to need to clean up later on when you're fairing or sanding the boat. There's a variety of different ways to secure the strips, and we'll have a closer look at those methods in the next video. For now, I'm just using small cleats tacked into the station forms to secure the strips in place. For this layout, I'm adding two strips along the shear of the kayak. To do this, I'm working end to end and then around the boat. I haven't secured the strips at the ends of the kayak. I'll do that after I've added the second strip.
Once I have all four strips in place, I can align the strips along the center line and the shear to make sure the strips are centered and my angles are right. Along the deck, in spots where the strips bend in a compound curve, I'm just using a spring clamp to hold my miter joints in place. To get my angles as perfect as I can at the ends, I'm using a sharp contractor knife to carefully add a small bevel to the end of the angle cuts. This will help create a tight fit. With a bit of glue on the ends, I can glue them in place. By using a couple scrap pieces of cedar strip, I'm adding a bit of concentrated pressure on the joints to squeeze them together as I take them up tight.
For me, the next strip will be down the center, based on the unique pattern I'm creating for this boat. I'll show you how to do that in the next video.